This is another beginner level tutorial on basic application use and functionality of the Arclight application. Screenshots, color changing and brightness settings, item deletion and rotation will be covered in this tutorial. This tutorial skips over plane detection and the start menu which were detailed in the first tutorial video. Click the link in the top for more info on that. Also, if you'd like to learn more about the Arclight application as a whole, you can click the link in the top as well. All right, so I'm just going to do another little tutorial on how this application works and some of the radial dial features. So as you can tell, I've detected some planes up on the top on the ceiling there. I'm just going to take one of the lights out of the drop down menu and place it. As you can tell on the far side there, not all of the uh, plane on the ceiling was detected. So to increase the light emanating uh, radius, I'm just going to go detect more of those planes. And now you can see how it emanates back there in that back corner as well. Um, I'm just going to do some over here as well. Now I do want to stop for a second and talk about the settings button. This settings button has a camera in it, which will screenshot your screen with the lights in place, but without the buttons at the top. The trash can held within that settings is going to delete all of the lights you currently have placed in your application. It's different than the tutorial or the radial dial delete, which will only delete the single light that you've touched. All right, so we're in the radial dial, we've double tapped. The option here changes the color of the light and the brightness. So you're able to select any color out of these options here. I've selected a red color. Uh, now at the bottom, you can see we're just sliding. Those are slider bars. You can adjust the light intensity and the light range. Just to see how they look. We'll just set it back to a white uh, just to keep it simple. All right, so we'll double tap again on the light and it'll bring up the radial dial again. That option there allows you to flip your objects uh, on the X axis. So now that we flipped it, we notice it's up in the ceiling, which doesn't look the best. So we're just gonna do a quick flip back. Uh, just some of the sample items that we have on the radial dial there. Thanks again for watching another tutorial on the Arclight application. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or any bugs that you'd like us to take a look at, please feel free to drop us a comment uh, or drop us a like if you've enjoyed these videos. Thanks so much for taking a watch. Have a great day.